I have so much Christmas stuff available. Ho, ho, hello, my many friends. Welcome to another video here on the Skunky Junk channel. I'm Sean Young, and I'm here to share with you today some of the exciting holiday finds that are available on skunkyjunk.com. So if you like any of the things that I show you today, and I'm gonna keep this one a little bit shorter, so there will be a few more videos coming out in the next few days, but if you see anything here that you're interested in purchasing, just go to skunkyjunk.com, www.skunkyjunk.com, type it in, hit enter, you'll go right to our website and you'll see the skunk uh, logo and then you know you're there. So here are some of the exciting things that we have available. Let's look at this little guy. Isn't that so cute? This is a Department 56, so it's vintage, it's not antique looks older than it is, but it's a Department 56. It's part of their um, collection of animals with little articulated arms that move and um, in little Santa suits. And I'm looking here, ah, there he is. I have a mouse also. And these are both available on skunkyjunk.com. There's the little bunny and the little mouse. They're both in good shape. They have their original stickers, no chips, dings. Uh, or significant flaws. So those are available on the website. <clears throat> there's a little bit of glass, not a lot of glass in my Christmas sale, but there's still lots of glass on the site. So while you're there, don't just check out the holiday stuff, check out the whole website and there's lots of fun glass on there. This is made by Countess Collection. Old European artistry is what the sticker says. We'll show you that. It's a little fuzzy and then it gets a little clearer, but it's smaller. Anyway, there it is. So it's this kind of pretty green glass and then with red, white, and green, and just a tiny bit of blue in there also. It's not specifically a Christmas item, but to me, the colors scream Christmas. So it's a nice, it's bigger than a bud vase, smaller than a huge vase, uh, but you could certainly put a couple of large uh, flowers in there. It would look so good with some white peonies at Christmas time. So there you go. That's available. Skunkyjunk.com. Here's, there's, there's just, I, I'm going to show you just kind of a, a little bit of a cross section, but there's tons of different kinds of things on there. There's some ephemera, some books, some vintage, some antique. There's lots of stuff on there. This is, oops, I'm holding it backwards. So there you go. Now you can see Santa. Um, this is just a little plastic Santa. Look good, I think, on like a little Christmas tree. Actually, I have a little Christmas tree here. But, oh man. Now, yeah, this Christmas tree is probably just a little bit too little. But anyway, if you had a little Christmas tree, you could probably uh, put Santa and his reindeer kind of wrapped around the tree. It'd be super cute. Be really cute on a, um, on a wreath. Originally, this would have been used as a cake topper, and you can use it for that if you want to, as long as you don't mind a little bit of fuzz on your cake, because there's some fuzz stuck on one of these reindeer's hoofs. Anyway, there he is, just a little plastic, super kitschy little Santa with his two, four, six little reindeer. None of them, oh, you know what? They all have red noses. Hmm. Anyway. Rudolph and his offspring, maybe. Anyway, that's a, a, a cute one that I really like. This one, maybe I'll just leave it in the packaging. Um, it's These are little bisque, uh, off-white um, bisque carolers, and they are, um, they're, the, the glaze is not shiny. Any shininess you're seeing is the plastic. So let me just pull one of these out of there. Um, they're, uh, they're bisque, so they're not shiny, but they're super, super cute. There's Mama. Um, they're kind of Victorian in design. Mama, Daddy, Little Girl, Little Boy, and the little lamp post there. They're not huge. They're kind of small. They look really good in a little display with some greens. I love this year, you guys, is the year of um, 
neutral colors. So your Christmas decorations in creams and natural uh, greens and that kind of thing, you're gonna be super on trend this year with that kind of thing. Or you can deviate from trend and go with traditional. So this is a little Joseph original mouse, the little cheese gift. He's also available and it's a normal size little Joseph original mouse, um, also available on skunkyjunk.com. There's also this guy. These are the Buyer's Choice Limited. This guy's from 1993. And he's the boy, obviously, holding the firewood, the Christmas tree. And the whole series of these, they are carolers. So if you need the little boy in his um, buffalo plaid shirt, uh, jacket, there he is. He's available for you. The um, This guy's not brand new. Again, made in 1993. And his Christmas tree has, on the back side, he's been up against a window or something. So it's a little discolored on the back side. And it's just, the the bottle brush tree is just a little crushed. But you can see that it looks good still. He stands up very nicely. He's in great shape. And that's available on skunkyjunk.com. I promised you some books and that kind of thing. Let's look at this one. Santa's Playbook. Um, this is uh, by Whitman, and the date on it is 1964. It's down there. And what this is, is it's got all kinds of fun little things in it, but it's got uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus and some of the elves, and these can punch out. They are none, none of this has been used. So these can punch out, and then there's clothing for them that you can dress them up in. So they're little... Uh, paper dolls. There's also a paper tree that you can punch out and build. Um, there's quite a few fun little things in here. Those are, um, they're kind of heavy duty paper. The clothes, there's quite a few clothes. Those are on more like slick paper. And then there's the little story of the night before Christmas. And then as we get back here to the back, there's all kinds of little ornaments and things that you can put on that that Christmas tree that you can make. You can make the nativity, um, and then here's some other punch outs and things that you can make to make your little display. There's also an advent calendar. So that's the inside of the cover. Each day you um, flip up another door. Here's door number one is the little lamp post. So you flip that up and, um, I am not, oh here, number one is flipped up. So it just, it shows you just something fun inside of there. So we'll flip up number one inside his little balloons. So that's how the advent calendar works. Anyway, this is a 1964 Santa's playbook, little um, uh, punch out fun kids book. I love the graphics in this. <coughs> Excuse me. You can see Santa and Mrs. Claus there and the cute little elves. They are just absolutely adorable. So as much as I hate the idea of um, taking this book apart, it almost would be fun to go ahead and punch these out and use them in a display. They'd be really, really adorable. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, maybe just a couple more. Um, Christmas Songs and Stories. This is another little book. This is a wonder book. And this inside, nobody even wrote their name in this one. So it's in pretty darn good shape. And it's got just really, really adorable, super, super cute um, uh, graphics in this also. This is copyright 1953. And that's a little wonder book. That's super cute. Um, I don't think I have this one on the site yet, but it'll be coming up soon. Keep watching because throughout the two week period of a particular sale, I keep adding items. So this has got a little bit of a ding to the corner, but it's really in pretty good shape. The gold is intact. Um, it's torn just a little bit at the bottom, but it is all intact there. And this is the night before Christmas. Um, this was 1949 and I, uh, let's see. Re copyright renewed 76. So this is sometime post 76. The front cover does have, the inside is tearing away, but that'd be easy to rectify. 
Um, here's one that I just love. This one's called Two Boys and Santa Claus. It's a soft cover book. It's fairly small, but look at the graphics on that. This would make just a greatest, greatest little display piece. And for its age, it is in absolutely impeccable shape. I, the only reason I know the age on it, or approximate age at least, is that it was signed when it was given to Walter from Mama and Papa in the Christmas of 1924. So that's when it was given to Walter. And this was printed in Germany. So this was after World War I, but before World War II, printed in Germany. And it's this sweet little story. The pages are um, all in great shape. Nothing is loose here. It has staples, but no rust. Imagine that. And it's just a great little story. So there's the back of it, there's the front of it. Now, I looked this up online and it is available on eBay. So if you don't wanna buy it from me, you're welcome to go buy it on eBay. On eBay, they're asking $500 for it. $500. So it's substantially cheaper than that. On skunkyjunk.com, and we're gonna make that all for today. There's lots more Christmas stuff available on the site already, and there will be more coming. Um, and then also, while you're there on www.skunkyjunk.com, you should check out our recent vintage drop. There's still some fall stuff available. It's all kinds of fun stuff on skunkyjunk.com. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me, Sean Young, here at Skunky Junk, and we appreciate everything that you do to support us. If you could leave a little comment down below, hit subscribe, share the video. Any of those things help us out a lot. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.